Please welcome to the stage Dr. Leonard Moses. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The most important thing in a society and in any culture is relationships. Agreed? Say yes. yes. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that so important? Simply because it matters to us how we are treated. Yes? yes. That re really matter. I have never heard anyone say, you know, I, I have gone all week long without anyone insulting me and I just, I just need that. <laughs> you know, I have no one have looked down on me this week and I am really struggling. <laughs> I, I really need to find someone who could just treat me bad. We just, right, it's like countering to, it's completely contrary to everything. Okay, so we, we understand that the relationship in culture and society is important, and so therefore, how we are treated matters. Now, what also matters is the way that we treat others. Agreed? Yeah. Ah, I like this group. You must be well fed. <laughs> so... When we understand this, we, we, there are things that, that we have to look deeply into, but I would look into it in a, in, in a uh, should I say, a kind of a practical way, something I could use, we could use immediately. So, because we agree that this is important, we have to find a practical way of doing it to each other versus have it in a phil philosophy or some kind of a theory. You know, like those classes you took in college where they would, it was all in your head and you never really see it manifest itself in any practical way, right? Yes? Okay, so now here we are and we have a chance to change the way we see others every day. We also have a choice to change the way we see others by the changing or the changing of our perspective. A lot of things begin with our perspective. For example, what is the most important part of a puzzle? I've asked this question, people say, the, 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 the sides, the pieces, etc. And in a quick, quick note, the most important part of a puzzle is the picture on the box. <laughs> Otherwise, I just have a bunch of pieces. And I'm going like, where does this go, right? So the picture, I need to see the picture. And the picture, in a lot of times, is how human beings relate is a beautiful picture. And then we start to work within the context of the picture to put the part of it together. So perspective, very, very important. Agreed? Yes. I like this group. Who brought these people here? Okay. All right. This is wonderful. Now, because perspective is so important, that, that, that is an important thing. I have oftentimes had to continually change my perspective because, you see, everyone wants to teach because learning is too hard. <laughs> right? It's not, it's not, I, 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 man, I just want to teach, you know. You, you talking about learning stuff. That's too much work, right? Uh, fantastic. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Um, so... <laughs> You know, you cannot do this without enjoying people. You have to enjoy people. Because no one can make you laugh as much as a human being, and no one can make you cry as much as a human being. And you can't have one without the other. But human beings are so important and so significant that you are willing to learn how to live with them with all of the stuff that comes with them because you're willing to make a choice about how you see them. Because you do not just look upon the faults, you look upon the need and you set yourself about addressing their need. So it's important how we see them. Do I just see a fault or do I see a need? Okay, let's take the perception thing one step further. Now, behind me, there is an object. Can you see it? That's not true. I'm in front of it. Okay, all right, I understand. I brought with me here an object. Look like this. And this is a prop. Because a lot of times when I ask people, what does this look like? 
Someone say, uh, it looked like a can. It looked like a Chinese walk. Right? So you go like, that's right. I had a little kindergarten say, that's a salad bowl. I said, very nice. You should get an A. But you should learn the, your alphabet first. Right? He said, this looked like a wall. And so, and they have all these perspectives. Then it says, now, if, well, after looking at this, you see, you look at it here, right? I said, if I was to, how, what do you think this will sound like? And he said, well, bang, bing, bong, bing, swing, and they begin all this song. And I said, okay. So now all of the information you just gave me is based upon what? The fact that you do not know what you are talking about. <laughs> Yet you are quite convinced because you saw it. And I asked you a question. People never say, I, don't, I do not know what I'm talking about. We always seem to have this ready and available comments on things we know nothing about. Have you noticed that? <laughs> Is that just a human trait or am I, uh, am I from someplace else? If you hear an accent, I'm an American, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, what I would like to do is to take the information with somebody says, I saw it, and this is what I think it looked like. And I, you asked me about how it sung, and I said, this is what it sung like. Now, what I am willing to do, and I have to, it, what I'm willing to do is to be able now to take your information, the perception you had before, and how you think it sung, and I am going to actually utilize this and you will have the opportunity to take your perception of it and see whether or not it matched the reality of what it is. Now, if when I have completed this process, you realize that your thoughts and what you said was contrary to what's here, then you have an, op an, an option. You have the opportunity to remain with your prior perception, which we call deliberate ignorance. <laughs> I learned that from some book. Or you could decide to change, which we call learning. Ooh, right? So, here we go. Are we ready? Perceptions and everything together, yes? No? Okay, sir, could you wake up, please? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Now, the people who have had to change their perception of the thing, please raise your hands. Wow, that's beautiful. Those of you who maintain your prior perception and refuse, there is a bus outside waiting to take you away. <laughs> Could you please follow the man in the green jacket and the wrong damn thing? I would like to thank you very much for the opportunity to have a chance to share with you today. You've been very kind. Thanks.